Are you guys still going to be absolutely cracked while playing Call of Duty? Make sure you guys try G Fuel. 20 to 30% off using my code SALTY over on GFuel.com. So some of you already may be familiar with this build, but I enjoy it too much to not cover it again. We're going to be covering the Jack Burnout Kit, aka the Rapid Fire LMG Kit for the Holger 26. This is super fun. You got that crazy rapid fire fire rate gig going on here with the Holger 26, which just happens to be my favorite LMG in the entire game. And when you have a good damage range with a good damage profile along with a fast fire rate, this thing just makes for a good time. So that being said, let's jump through these attachments. Basically what I'm doing here is going to be limiting the recoil because this kit does like to ruin it just a little bit. All right, let's go through the Jack burnout kit here because there's a lot to unfold here. So we're gonna be getting fire rate, less of a damage range fall off along with an increase to bullet velocity and limb damage. Here's the thing. It's going to ruin some recoil control along you can see sustained recoil control, meaning the longer you hold the trigger, the worse the recoil is going to get. You're also going to be losing gun kick control and headshot damage. But when you look at and really deep dive through these statistics here, it's all things that you can really make up for. So the headshot damage is decreased. It's 38 damage across the board, which means it's going to be a consistent time to kill no matter where you shoot them. Our damage range is at 5.1 meters, but the fire rate is so fast that in my opinion, you don't really notice that damage range drop off. And then our fire rate is at 1000 rounds per minute for an LMG. I mean, you can't ask for more. So basically the rest of the build is gonna be targeted around controlling the recoil. Our first attachment here is gonna be the Jack Glassless Optic. That's gonna control fire aiming stability and it's just a normal reflex. I cover this in basically every video that I am running an optic. So it makes sense that I'm using it also here. You guys, as always, can run whatever you want. Iron sights, different optic, but this is my preferred optic of choice. For the stock, I'm going with the Ascent Lord stock. There's a lot here that we need in order to make this weapon viable, and this attachment covers just about all of it. Aiming out of sway, recoil control, gun kick control, and fire aiming stability. So we're going to be getting 17% to the gun kick, making up for a lot of what we lost from the kit, 7% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control, and of course, that fire aiming stability, which is the visual shake on the weapon. For the rear grip, we have the Morn 20 grip. We're going to be getting Flinch resistance, meaning it's going to be much easier to hit your shots while being shot at. More aiming idle sway, gun kick control, and recoil control. We're going to get 14% there to the gun kick, 10% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control, and then a 47% increase there to the flinch resistance. And for our final attachment, it's the Bruin Heavy Support Grip, a very repeat attachment here on the channel to control gun kick control, horizontal recoil control, and more fire aiming stability to 11% there to the gun kick. 8% to the horizontal recoil control. Between all of these recoil attachments I've just given you, it's a quite easy weapon to use as long as you don't hold on the trigger for basically the entire mag. Definitely make sure you are staggering how you're using the trigger. So the last time I posted this Holger 26 kit, I got comments regarding the damage range and things like that. Just you don't use it as a long range weapon. It's pretty simple. When you have a weapon with a fast fire rate, it's best used at medium range, close range, sometimes long range. You're going to see how exactly I use it in the gameplay and you'll see what I'm talking about, but it's not something you're going to want to camp with. If that makes sense, it's not like a slow paced LMG. Here's also the rest of the loadout on the screen. If you guys needed to copy this one down, we're going to be flying over to Breenberg Hotel to feature the rapid fire LMG here in Modern Warfare 3. And it's one you're going to want to watch through so you can see exactly how I play with it and what it's capable of. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me. Let's get into it. So I'm using the rapid fire Holger 26 again here. And to be honest, nothing changed from my last setup. It's just been two seasons since I last covered it. I just really wanted to use it. You know what I mean? Alveos, good shots, brother. Hit me with the wall bang. He hit the mountain. He hit me with the wall bang. So I can't exactly play too, too aggressive with this thing, even though I'm going to want to. I'm going to want to play aggressive. It's just the nature of how I play. I just got to remember that just because it has a fast fire rate doesn't mean it's a fast paced weapon. You know what I mean? I just gotta say moving, holy crap, that's a good start. So we're five kills here from the VTOL. Went from a pretty mid start, to be honest. Like uh, that first death, it was a good kill. I wasn't expecting it wall bang there. El Velos, the guy that killed me right off the rip has left the game now, okay. Let's see what we can do. 
I haven't played Breenberg Hotel in quite a while, actually. I, it's just not popping up. Like, Mercado's not popping up either, which is just weird. Mercado is, you know, one of my favorite maps. Like, it's not in, like, COD history, but it is, like, one of my, like, really go-to maps. That hurt. I am convinced I'm around that wall. Your name is Itchy Scorpion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How could a scorpion be itchy? Enemy, the Genuine question. Is that possible? Do scorpions get itchies? There's a guy there. Need to keep my ears open. Itchy Scorpion's gonna be on the hunt for me. Oh, I saw you. Where are you going? Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Where'd you go? Thank you for the UAV teammate. Where did this guy go? There was a guy right here. He's got ghosts on, clearly. I'm gonna need you guys to stop running at me. All right, there's our VTOL. I keep talking about how I can't play aggressive and then bam. They're just in my face and there's nothing I can do about it. I also don't know what I can do about this. There's our advance. That's what I was looking for. I don't, I can't like run it the hill. Got to pay attention to the clock here. I don't want to lose. Oh, teammate got me in advance, bro. What a guy. My teammates actually are killing me. I actually have a good teammate for once. Holy. It's not a usual uh, thing here. That guy's underneath. And teammate saved me. Holy. All right. DNA bomb. I think my teammate's going to get one as well, actually. I'll give him this. He helped me. I help. I'll help you. I like having good teammates. This is a nice change. I didn't even realize that guy was like, you know, with me. It's not common that with how matchmaking works that I would get the good teammates. You know what I mean? I'm not going to even hit my swarm until he gets his DNA bomb. I'm going to play respectful here. 
I'll be respectful. If he gets until he gets his DNA bomb, I'm not hitting the swarm. Is he? I don't know if he died though. That's the thing. No, he stuck me. That sucks. I'm gonna give it a little bit to see if he gets it. I just don't know if he's gonna get it. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be proper etiquette here for nukes. Jesus Christ. All right, listen, brother. I'm trying to help you out here, but you're not getting the kills, so. I don't know if you choked or what's going on here. Oh, now I feel bad. He just got an advanced. Okay, we're at 80 kills. My man's at 66, I give him credit. All right, there you go, brother. Get your DNA bomb. I'm, I'm, I'm counting on you here. I could have hit so many streaks for you. I could have hit so many streaks, but I'm just trying to pop you out of advanced UAVs, man. I've never seen a nuke from the opposite perspective of someone else. You know what I mean? So I kind of want to see that. I hope he gets it. There you go, another advance, bro. I, 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 I'm really trying for this guy, dude. I got 101. Like, think about how many kills I could have possibly had if I just started calling my streaks. Like, he's got 77. I don't think he got it. All right, I tried, man. Bray, I tried for you, brother. 104. What a game.